In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to fix controller issues with Diablo 4. Obviously, first of all, we'll start with unplug all controllers and devices that aren't your mouse and keyboard, then connect only the device you're planning to use and fire up the game. This may be a solution as it could be linking to some other controller on your system and getting a bit confused. The same goes for any virtual controllers. Then the next simplest solution is installing Steam if you don't already have it or assuming you don't own the game there and adding it to your list. If you already have the game on Steam, all you need to do is launch it and hopefully things would be fixed. If you have it on Battle.net, for example, you don't have it on Steam, but to launch it to Steam, simply click add a game in the bottom left, followed by add a non-Steam game, then browse over here and navigate across to where the game is installed. I already have it in Steam, so for example, I'll add maybe Steam. I'll select the main game EXE, which should be DiabloIV.exe, click open, and that should add to the list here if it's not already. Then simply click to enable it. For example, I'll enable OSU, click add selected programs, then it should appear on your list as Diablo 4. For me, I've added this non-Steam game here. Simply click play and for most people that could fix your issue. If we right click the game followed by properties, you'll see a controller tab here where we can mess around with a few settings, for example, either disabling or enabling Steam input, which may solve issues. If you do own the game on Steam, you can search for it, then right click properties and on the controller tab as before, simply either enable or disable Steam input as one of these options will likely solve your issues. If you're having issues using a PlayStation 5 controller, it's a good idea to look into ReWASD and DS4 Windows as that may solve your issues with this game. Then finally, if you're using an Xbox controller, especially a wireless one, we can try updating the drivers. With this, simply hit start, open up the store, and in the Microsoft Store, we'll search for Xbox Accessories. Then simply select it and choose Install when you get the option. Finally, when it does install, you'll be able to open it and making sure your controller is connected. You should be able to move left or right to it. Then once it loads, you can click the three dots below it, followed by update the controller's firmware, which should be somewhere near the top. That's it. Super simple. Then finally, if you own the game on Battle.net and for some reason you keep opening up chat, your controller keeps randomly disconnecting, etc. Another solution is to close Steam completely. Simply head across to it, then Steam followed by exit, then launch up the game through Battle.net if you own it there and you may notice an increase in stability or of course fixed issues. That's really about it. Once again, PlayStation controllers should use DS4 Windows or ReWASD, R-E-W-A-S-D, and if you're using any other controller or would like to emulate an Xbox controller, you can try using X360CE as that may also solve your issues with this game. Those are completely different bits of software, so I won't really touch on them here. I'll merely mention them if you're having issues with third-party controllers that aren't mainstream Xbox or PlayStation. Anyways, that's about it for the super quick guide. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!